Can a blind person really drive without crashing? We've got an actual blind person driving a car. What are you doing? I'm driving blind. Why? Because it's our next myth. Oh, you mean like in The Scent of a Woman? It's like you're freaking psychic. That's awesome. Yes, where Al Pacino's character, who is blind, is able to drive a sports car by being given instructions from his passenger. That's what we're going to test. Hoo-ha! <laughs> to try to recreate this highly hazardous driving technique in the real world, the guys are using a pedestrian free zone. The lovely people at the Alameda County Sheriff's Emergency ah. Vehicle Operations Center have lent us their driving course. It is a blank slate. I'm going to set up a whole bunch of cones that will create our city streets for blind driving. Jamie is going to play the blind driver first, so Adam sets up the course alone. This means that the mustachioed maestro won't have the advantage of knowing its twists and turns. In setting up the course for our blind driver, I've tried to add all the obstacles that we see in the movie. So I'm starting out with a nice, long, get your bearings kind of straightaway. That also includes a sharp left-hand turn. Right after that, I've got a second sharp left-hand turn. <laughs> and I've included an obstacle for Jamie to swerve around. This ought to be all the challenges we need for our blind driver. And that just leaves the car, which for this test comes complete with in-car cameras, a driving instructor called Derek, and a crucial safety feature. This car is specially rigged with controls so that he can hit his own set of brakes and stop the car in case I get frisky on him. With frisky Jamie blinded by science, <laughs> a lovely color. where does he uh, see the problem areas of the course being? Obviously, the straight bits are going to be the easiest ones. The problem areas are going to be the turns, exactly how far I turn and when. That's going to be tricky. You feeling ready, champ? Yeah, let's do it. Just like in the movie, Jamie will be totally in the dark, relying solely on Adam's directions. My role in this test, I am literally a backseat driver. I will be giving him all the stimulus, hopefully, he needs to drive this course correctly, although I don't expect him to. I foresee many, many knocked over cones. Ooh-ha, it's time for ignition. All right, Jamie, go forward. Just get your bearings a little bit to the left, a little bit to the left. That's good. Cruising at an easy pace down the straightaway, they come to their first bend in the road. OK, there's a turn coming up to the left. Excellent. Made it with no cones down. Straighten it out, straighten it out. OK, pick up the speed. Let's pick up the speed. But not for long. Keep going, keep going. To the right, to the right, to the right. Now hard to the left. To the right, to the right, more to the right. <laughs> Soon their drive turns into a game of Cone Pac-Man. More to the right. <laughs> okay, to the left, to the left, hard to the left. <laughs> and then to the right. Beautiful. Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> we need a new navigator. <laughs> Managing the chorus took a very different turn to what they thought. How did I do? Well, I gotta say, together we swerved around the cardboard obstacle perfectly. But it turns out the turns were easy. It was correcting for the straight driving that was more difficult. Right over there is the worst spot. Like a couple of out-of-sync co-drivers, Adam blamed Jamie. His ability to correct on the fly on the straightaways was pretty poor, even up to and including his ability to know left from right at times. And Jamie blamed Adam. You know, more, more, more is like, what, 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 you know, it's, it's easy to get confused or not do something enough or, or too little. If the guys don't begin to work as one, they're finished, finished, finished. <laughs>